So you want to know how to prank? Well today Crazy Russian Hacker and I are going to show you a few pranks you can pull right at home. Let's get to it. For this prank we're going to do a Febreze bomb. We're going to, we're going to need a zip tie and a Febreze spray. Just tie it like that, not all the way. And when you're ready to throw, hold it like this and, and pull it this way and you got the Febreze bomb running somebody soon. Throw one of this and they're not gonna turn off. They're gonna be like, ah, ah, shit, ah, how do I turn it off? I can't. Ah, where's my scissors? And they're gonna stink up all the room or office with that Febreze stink for like months. How do I take it off now though, for real? Dude, <laughs> <laughs> stop it! I don't know how, we're gonna explode! Here, give me. Dude, come on! There. Okay. And now what? <laughs> now we gotta get Now it. you hold it. Now we get a knife. Dude, this is an epic throw. This next prank is a new spin on an old classic. You take the old fashioned spitball, you know, you put the spitball, piece of paper, and shoot through a straw, right? But instead, we're going to enhance it. We're taking a pen, the tube of a pen, we stick it on a air duster can, take your spitball blaster, drop in your ammunition. If it doesn't fit, that's okay, because we have the inner part of the pen to stuff it down in there. So this way it's gonna really fly. And you aim and shoot. Oh, <laughs> oh out of my face! <laughs> All right, guys, for this pump, it's really simple. All you need is water bottle and a thumb tack or any kind of needle. What we're gonna do is on the water bottle, pop it on the same level. You see the water starts spilling out, but stops because there's vacuum. So you wanna do like, but make sure it's on the same level, like few holes, like four or five holes, it don't matter how many. Okay, then you wanna grab it by the top of the bottle and set it on the table. And somebody gonna come up and grab it and try to open it, but to open it, you gotta squeeze it. So they're gonna squeeze, try to open it, and they're gonna spray themselves. <laughs> so cool, isn't it? It's awesome. And it's so simple, anybody could do it. This next prank is perfect for a brother or sister. Anybody that packs their lunch every day, we're gonna cut holes in the bottom of the bag. The sandwiches are gonna fall out. Let me show you how it's done. Get a sharp knife and cut the bottom. Then, just slowly cut it so nobody can tell the bag's been tampered with. Just cut the bag very carefully. Be careful, be safe, and don't hurt yourself. You look at it, the bag looks normal. You wouldn't notice a thing. The goal is, to take every sandwich bag and do the same thing. Just make sure that you're carefully cutting these bags using knives, be very careful. Now you got all the bags sliced, roll them up as if they've never been touched or tampered with. So when your brother, your sister, the target goes to make a sandwich, the bag looks fine. They're gonna put their sandwich in the bag. And it's gonna come out the other side and go, what? Then they're gonna pull another sandwich out. They're gonna think it was like a manufacturer defect or something. They're gonna put their sandwich in. And it's gonna come out again. Oh, what the heck's going on? And then they're gonna find out every single bag's got a hole in it. For this part, you got this fake cockroach, 25 cents. You can get them on, online. Grab one of these or some kind of food source. Especially this one, it's so cool because you can put it in there, close it and shake it up a little so you won't see it. So next time somebody gonna just grab it, put it in a bowl and cockroach gonna fall out and they're gonna flip out. The best part is you can put this thing in any kind of bag so if people are sitting there, they don't know what's going on, they're going to eat, they pull it out and they pull out this cockroach and they're gonna freak out. And if they don't look, they might even put it in their mouth. And they're gonna chew on it and spill it. <laughs> oh, can you imagine? What the, oh, that'd be so good. All right, the next prank is you wanna write down a message and you're gonna cut this message out. Then get some scotch tape, put it on the back, and stick it on the back of your parents, your friend, whoever, on the coffee mug. Serve them a cup of coffee, so when they drink, they're talking to you, listen, you know, I'm talking to their friends, maybe they're Skyping somebody they know and drinking coffee, they always have 
butthole or whatever message you want to put on the bottom of this cup. Next one's a classic. Take some scotch tape, land around the house, repurpose it for your prank. Go to your kitchen sink if you got one of these guns, and you're gonna tape tape the handle gun down so it's on. Now, when your mom, dad, friend, family member, whoever comes to get some water, they're gonna be squirted and shocked. Are you ready? Ready? Let's go, let's go. Don't touch me, my abacutes. Please don't touch me, my abacutes. <laughs> 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 that prank works. So well. For this prank, we need a cup of water and I liked it, so it's like you cannot see through the cup. One of those cups, we're gonna put a piece of paper on top, let it sit for a little, get absorbed the water, and then we're gonna put the hand up and flip it as like fast. And now, if we let go, it's not gonna spill out. We're gonna set it down, and we can rip off this piece of paper completely. So, looks like the cup just sitting there. Of course, you wanna grab a little towel and wipe off all the water around it. And if you can actually set up a whole bunch of cups on the table. So, they'll think they're just clean cups right next to the sink. So, somebody gonna come up in the kitchen, oh, I want some coffee, there's a coffee cup, looks like clean. They're gonna try to come up, oh, snap! <laughs> and spill water everywhere. Next one's really easy, just take some petroleum jelly, some Vaseline stuff, stick it on the back side of the microwave. It's a nice thick layer, oh, it looks just nasty. And clean up the sides there. So when someone comes up to use it, they're gonna grab it, and then when they pull out, they're gonna have all this nasty petroleum oh. jelly. Ah, disgusting. You don't have to use the microwave, you can put it on the refrigerator handle, the dishwasher, anywhere in the kitchen or people have to grab a handle. Or you would put on every single handle, that's even the worst. Yeah. For this punk, you wanna grab zip tie and zip tie all your scissors in the kitchen or in the house, just like that. And then grab all your knives, hide them somewhere, and zip tie this thing as well. And then what you wanna do is zip tie all the cabinets as well, in the house, in the kitchen, everywhere. So, whenever they're gonna come up and try to open some, they're gonna look for the scissors, like, aha, so funny, I'm just gonna grab, go get the scissors, and just cut them too. But when they're gonna grab the scissors, they can't. How are you gonna cut scissors if they zip tied? And all the knives to cut the scissors, I locked in there as well, and you could put a bunch of Ziploc, so it's not easy to just help off. You can put like 10 on each, <laughs> and 10 on each, and they'll be so pissed cutting them off, like, I don't know what they're gonna do. There you have it, make sure you guys subscribe to Crazy Russian Hacker. And let us know which one of you were your favorite prank, let us know in the comments below. Live Inspire Shock World, we'll see you next time. So you have warm wine, and you wanna drink it cold, but you don't have time to put it in the refrigerator, Here's a life hack for you. So instead of putting ice cubes in your wine, just get grapes and freeze them. Turn them into little grape ice cubes. And you can drop them in your wine glass. And now you have grape ice cubes to cool down your wine.